Hey everyone, it's Laura. I just want to show you some things that finished on eBay last night. And um, these are the, well, some of them. Most of the items that were sold and they've already been paid for. So it's great when you receive payments this quickly so that you can post them the next day as well. So I just want to quickly show you some of the things that I sold and what I sold them for. I sold these silver um, earrings, got $15 for them. Um, from my Sarah Coventry collection, I've still got heaps and heaps of pieces to sell from there. But I sold this piece um, last night and oh, what did I sell that one for? I sold it for $16. I sold the earrings, these coin earrings, for $13. And that's by Sarah Coventry as well. The stick pin is also Sarah Coventry and I sold that for $9. And the belt, which can also be worn as a necklace from Sarah Coventry, that was $17.50. So they're all from my collection that I've had for many years and I'm still very slowly managing to sell those pieces. This group of bags, I sold it as a lot. I got $18 for the for the bags, so I'm quite happy to clear out some more room. A jacket, a black leather jacket that I got in filler bag for $5, I sold it for $20. I had this jacket listed at auction for $19.99 and it wasn't selling. I relisted it twice and it still never sold, so eventually I just put it up as a buy now for $19.99 and it sold within the hour, so I was quite happy with that. This scarf I got is still with its original tag, um, Alpaca Camargo. Camargo. I paid $3 for this one and sold it for $17.50. And something that I have a lot of are these nerd glasses. They're just clear plastic frames. So I sold two pairs last night. $10 a pair. That's not included in postage. The buyer still has to pay for postage. And I buy these in bulk for a dollar a piece. And it's just something that I always have up in my eBay shop. And I don't have to change the listings or anything like that. It's just sit back and wait for the bids to happen so I've been making some great steady money on these glasses which is quite surprising to me but you know something that sells well and I'm trying to find more things that I can buy in bulk just because with listings or vintage things they're one of a kind so to write a description it, it's very tedious it takes quite a while to get your photos ready and um, the descriptions ready so if you have a few things in your shop like this it's good because when you have those busy weeks that you can't always get to list, list a lot of things, you've got something there that can be sold and it can bring in some money for that week that your listings are a little bit slower than usual. So not a bad night last night and I'm still waiting for a few more payments. I have a buyer who's buying lots of things at the moment. She's up to $130 already and she's bidding on many more things in my shop. But she's a regular buyer, so I let her go for it for a couple of weeks, and then she pays me. So it's quite good because she always bumps up my other sales as well when she's trying to win other things too. So, so I'm going to go and wrap these now and hopefully get to the post office this afternoon. And I might try and hit a thrift store on the way home, and if I do, I'll show you what I find. All right, hope everyone's having good um, sales on eBay at the moment, and finding good things when they're out picking. Alright, thanks everyone. Bye.